evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to be talking about the radioactive decay formulae. Now this is a graph we've had on the board uh, uh, for this. This is a graph of the number of radioactive particles. So this is the number of radioactive particles. And as you can see it decays over time. Okay, And this time here We've had it um, in, you have to be paying careful attention to it. Uh, it can be in minutes, it can be in years, etc. And this value up here, this, what I've put as N naught, this is the maximum amount of radioactive particles I have, or the initial amount, okay? So this here is the initial amount. And in previous videos, we talked about the gradient at any point. So I could take a gradient at any point can be related by this formula here. I made a small mistake on that one, so lambda n, that, and that one there, okay, that the change in n over time, the gradient of the point, is the decay constant, okay, this decay constant, times by the number of particles at that point. So if this point here was 100 particles, and this time was 10, okay, if my decay constant was 0 0.075, okay, this means at this point my gradient equals minus 0 0.075 times by 100, which equals 0 0.075 times by 100, and that would be 7.5, okay? Now, how we've said before how this related to activity. So activity is the decay constant times by the number of particles. So it is this value here, this a whole idea of this gradient. But it's important to realize the units. So for example, this time is gonna be in minutes, okay? So, this activity would be 7.5 decays per minute. At that point in the equation. Now in my previous video I actually derived this formula but you don't need to know that. This formula here, this one right here, is the actual equation for this whole line. That the number of particles at any point is the initial number of particles times by this letter here, E, or exponential, to the power of the decay constant times by the time. So you are able to find the number of particles at any point if you know how much it should decay by and this time. Okay? <clears throat> and I'll give you an example how you can use this formula. I'm going to take the information we have here. Okay, so I know that my decay constant is 0 0.075 decays per minute, okay, or min to the minus one. My time is 10 minutes, and it is very important that your decay constant and your time have the same time span. So if you're going to use years, that your decay constant is in years. If you're going to use seconds, your decay constant must also be in seconds. Okay. My initial value, my initial value I don't know, but I know the value I've got is 100. So what I do, the first thing I do is I write the formula I'm going to use. So that's n equals n naught e to the minus lambda t. And I'm going to put the values I know. So this e here to the power, this would end up as a number. And you can find out that number by putting this into your calculator. So 0 0.075 times by 10. And then e to the negative of that. So I've got 100 equals n naught times by 0.47. And naught would be 100 divided by 0.47. Oops. 
which is 211.7. Okay. You can only have uh, a whole amount of particles there. So I would round that to 212. Okay. So you'd have about 212 particles initially. And at this point in time, after 10 minutes, you have 100 left. So that's how you can use this formula to be able to find the um, information from the start or the end. Now, let's do something else. Let's actually find out at, let's change the question up a little bit. Same information, so I now know what n naught is. I want to find the time to decay to, let's say, 30 atoms. Okay. So again, I'm going to write my information that I know down. So I know lambda is 0 0.075 per minute. My time is I don't know. My n is 30, because that's the amount of atoms I want at this time. And my n naught is 200, and we'll go for 212. So first of all, I write the formula. n equals n naught e to the minus lambda t. I'm going to fill in the information I know. So 30 equals 212 e to the minus 0 0.075 t. So how do you get rid of this logarithm here? Now, the first thing you have to do, this exponential function, is you need to get it on its own. So this bit here needs to be on its own before we do anything really strange to it. So I've got 212 times by this, so I need to get rid of this 212. So 30 divided by 212 equals e to the minus 0.075t. Okay. So 30 divided by 212 is 0.14. Okay. Now, how you undo this power, okay, is you are trying to you are trying to find this power, okay, and what you have to do is use logarithms. And because you're using e, you can use a, a logarithm called a natural logarithm. So if I Lun, this side, okay, I can, this is undoing. It's kind of like how you, here, I undid the multiply by dividing. I'm undoing this E by using logarithms, okay? I'm going to be using a log to the base E, also known as Lun. So I'm going to Lun this side, and what that will do is get rid of this e and bring that down to the normal thing here. So I've got 0 0.075 t. This ln here will be a number. Okay, so I can put that into my calculator. And I get minus 1.955. Okay. And then you can just solve for t as normal. So divided by... Divided by minus 0.075. And my time equals 26.1 minutes. Okay. So just to recap what I did there. N equals N naught E to the minus lambda T. I put my numbers in. And then I had to get this E bit on its own. So I divided it. To undo this natural logarithm, to undo it, I have to use what we call natural logs. So I natural, to get rid of it, I natural log this side, which leaves me just the power left. And you can rearrange it and you end up with the answer of 26.1 minutes. Okay. This is two ways that you can use to rearrange uh, the natural logarithm. So you would have done this for... Uh, capacitor discharge as well. So it's really important that you get some really good practice on rearranging this formula. 
I have put some, uh, there will be a link in the box below uh, for revision guide questions um, and sort of revision guide questions from the CGP book that you can use to practice this formula.